Anita Sarkeesian remembered she's a couple of years late on the on her project um, tropes versus women. That's uh, that's just funny for me to say a couple of years late. You know, like like it's a like it's no big deal. Uh, she she suddenly remembered this fact and uh, released a statement excusing herself of any responsibility for this embarrassing failure to uphold her uh, goals, the goals she set. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing if you don't know what this, uh, what, what this uh, tropes versus women thing is. Uh, go look it up. I'll give you like a brief summary. It's a Kickstarter campaign. The goal was 6,000. She got almost 160,000. Um, this was sometime in early 2012. It doesn't say when it started. Uh, as you can see, the due date estimated delivery was August 2012. I'm recording this on the 21st of January 2016. She's about halfway through. Um, and uh, that's... <coughs> Sorry, that's what uh, that's where we are today. Uh, like mm, three three something years uh, po uh, past the due date for making twelve or fourteen YouTube videos, each like mm, ten to twenty minutes long. So something uh, a lot of people on YouTube as a single person do, uh, mm, let's say, 15 videos, it takes them a few months, um, alone with no funding, she didn't manage to do um, for years, I guess, four years um, with a funding of $160,000 with which she could hire a team to do research for her and an editor to edit the videos and whatever it is that you want. So there's really no excuse, but I'm going to go through um, the, what she, her attempts at making excuses for herself and, and escaping any personal responsibility for this and um, uh, give, my, give my opinion. Uh, as as I go along. So here we go. 2015 was our first full year as a nonprofit. It's not interesting. And throughout the year, assessed what feminist frequencies short term and long term goals should be. After seeing the goals and scope for Troses of Women and video games balloon far beyond my initial imagining. Uh, it's important for me to set reasonable expectations for future projects. Yeah, it would be preferable to uh, finish, maybe not uh, exceed the deadline by more than, let's say, six months. Let's, let's be strict here. No more than strict month, six months uh, over the deadline that you promised people paying you money. Uh, to uphold. Yeah, maybe that. Uh, so I spent a fair bit of time last year laying the foundation for Frem Freak to grow. I continued and expanded our advocacy and consciousness raising efforts. Uh, worked on a couple overhaul. <laughs> worked on a complete overhaul of our logo. She completely overhauled that logo. Totally overhauled it. It's not. You know how you know how much effort, how much time was put into. The logo wasn't just changed. It wasn't she didn't change it to a, a different one. It was overhauled completely. She didn't fucking draw it. She commissioned it from somebody else. But she, but it took her minutes to decide, minutes of thought to decide on what the new logo should be. And probably more minutes later, when she got the commissions back, to look at them 
and decide which one of those she liked the most. You know? So that's a good chunk of time there. Uh, that's like four months. Just looking at the, 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 like the five fucking drawings she got as options for the logo. That's four months right there. And overhauling the website. She didn't fucking code it. Make it in HTML. She told somebody else what to do it. But again, the dozens of minutes to describe what she wanted or to look at the layout and say, yeah, that's okay. Uh, all right, let's continue. And put together a great team who have been uh, diligently helping me prepare exciting new programming to launch this year, hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully. It will actually happen this year. Uh, I hope for you. Um, I'm really proud of the work we have done with Tropes vs. Women video games. We took traditional feminist media criticism and developed our own framework uh, for analyzing and deconstructing games. Um, your own framework. I don't, I don't think there's anything groundbreaking or original about those videos. It's the same talking points said about games. Um, trying to show, to prove a link, trying and failing to prove a link between what you define as sexism within games into influencing violence or sexism or negative behavior or negative anything in real life. You fail to prove such a connection and many of the things you show as sexism can be very uh, very passionately argued as not that. So it's all, it's all routine stuff. I don't think anything new is developed here. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, for analyzing and deconstructing games via an accessible and engaging format. Uh, you're, you're facing a camera and talking. Occasionally a picture would show up next to you. I guess it's, a, it's a engaging. Um, it's better than what I'm doing like showing a text on the screen, but there are much more engaging ways to do a video. Let's just say that. Um, that appeals to a wide-ranging audience. As I've talked about before, this project took on a life of its own beyond anything I could have conceived. That spring day, three and a half years ago. Well, that's your decision. What, what kind of life this project would take? You could have decided, uh, now that you have, you asked for $6,000, you got 160000 So like, uh, I don't know, three times almost the amount. Not three times, uh, 30 times the amount. So you could say, okay, with all this excess money, I'm going to hire two people, three people, whatever, to uh, help me with research and uh, production. I'm going to devote one month, starting today, uh, for each video, uh, and that would, uh, I think it's 20 videos, um, let's see, this is 12, and there are 8 more, yeah, 20, so that would take you 20 months, so you would be over the limit, over the deadline that you set yourself, but it would be, um, it would be okay, I don't think people would bust your balls too much about that because it would be a steady uh, deadline and they would see you're putting a lot of effort into each video so you wouldn't get a lot of criticism for that you could have done that you could have decided that's the life this series is gonna take it's all within your control you know not accounting for I guess physical illness or emergencies, unforeseeable circumstances like that. But even those, that's a few days here and there off schedule. It's not something major. 
there is no excuse for over three years late. I'm very sorry to tell you. Let's continue. Um, we expanded the project accordingly, increasing its scope with each stretch goal. I was so excited that you were so excited about feminist media criticism. Yes, we're all very excited about more feminist media. By the time we started creating the episodes, however, it was clear the project had become an ambitious beast. Again, no reason. There is no reason. I see videos on YouTube with a ton of research behind them. 20, 30 minute videos uh, being done all the time by a single person. And I can guarantee that, that uh, a lot of those did not take a whole month for that person to make. I look at your videos, there's no reason a team of three people can't make one of those videos in a month. Just full time work for three people for one whole month can make one of those videos and I'll be even more blunt with you, it can take even less than a month. They are not impressive. The in level of insight and research done into those has not impressed me. All right, uh, Ambitious Beast. Each trope started becoming its own multi-part mini-series. There's no reason for that. You decide whether to do that or not. That took months and months of research and writing and production. Come on. Cut the bullshit, please. Months and months of research. Come on. Jeez, so much bullshit here. So here we are over three years later working on a project that I thought simply was going to take six months to complete. It could have taken like a year, a year and a half. With very generous investment of time and energy to put out a quality product. You're saying, look at this, she's saying like, uh, so here we are over three years later working on a project as though, you know, the way the sentence is written implied that she has been working on this nonstop for three years as opposed to going off on conventions, giving talks, uh, getting invited to the UN, to all sorts of feminist, um, I don't know, speeches, giving feminist speeches in conventions, etc. Things we know. We, we, see you, we see you at those places. Yeah? At all sorts of events. We see you doing other things than working on what you're supposed to be doing. Just this sentence here suggesting as, as though this project has somehow, beyond her control, become this monstrosity that she has been working non-stop on for th over three years and has just... This poor girl, she just can't... She just can't contain this thing. So much research! There's so much research to do. She can't... She just can't finish it in under seven years. It's just not reasonable to expect making 20 YouTube videos in less than 12 and a half years. It takes a year of research per video. You know how long it takes to put the camera in front of that green screen? You know how that, that alone takes months. Come on, people. Come on. The reality is that tropes took over my entire existence. No hyperbole there, no exaggeration. Her entire existence, both personally and professionally, for me, the work of Feminist Frequency has become synonymous with uh, constant daily harassment, death threats, bomb threats, intense public scrutiny, and profound violations of privacy that have spilled over into the lives of my friends and family. Okay, so there's the victim card. It has been played. So you gain plus two victimhood, or I guess plus three, you involve a lot of uh, different factions over there. Good job. Along with all of this came an impossible pressure to never get any detail or fact wrong. 
you managed to get a lot wrong, so I guess that pressure did not affect you that much. Even when our research was impeccable, harassers would act as though we were lying and start wild campaigns to generate more hostility towards us and our work still unrelated to you failing your schedule, okay. Uh, the enormous amount of stress caused by the harassment along with how the project unfolded took a huge toll on my physical and emotional health. I have been dealing with depressive tendencies for the better part of my life. Uh, that's actually news to me. I've never heard that. Uh, someone else said, I, I did not know that this was, this was not public information known to me. That she was depressed or suffered from depression. Okay, I don't know. Could be true, could be false. I have no idea. Um, but my physical health declining and the added pressure of this project, my depression uh, became quite intense. Looking back from a place of greater clarity and balance. She has become a Zen master. She has become the feminist Buddha. If you want, if you open your heart and mind and slice off your penis, she will teach you her ways. Uh, I don't know how I manage to survive from day to day. Just, just turn off your computer. Go outside. You know, go on a vacation to, to a beach somewhere. Didn't you get, she got like $400,000 think at the end of 2014 after this uh, fake bomb threat that she or someone else sent to herself so take take like 50,000 of those 400 go on a vacation for two months don't open a computer for two months I, I can assure you that you will survive quite fine from this uh, internet harassment let alone how I continue to step into the public eye online in newspapers and magazines and even on national television. Many of my personal relationships were strained or collapsing and getting out of bed every day felt like climbing up a mountain. There was no end. I was going to be doing this trope project forever, forever in caps lock. So that's, that's like double forever, you know. That's infinity squared of time. In short, I burned out. No, let's not, let's not minimize it. Your very being and existence was collapsing. You were having a hard time surviving from day to day. So literally, you, you were on the brink of death from like mean tweets being sent at you. Let's not just, let's not, let's say it like it is, Anita. There's no need to be humble or to try and act tough here. You weren't just burning out. Your very life was threatened. Anyway, uh, in some activist communities, we talk a lot about burnout because so many of us sacrifice our health, our relationships, our personal lives, you know, to try and make positive changes in the world. That's true. Like this, this, some people could look at this and say, you know, it's just uh, a few, some videos she puts up on YouTube, but that's not true. She is suck sacrificing her health, physical and mental, all, all the important relationships in her life uh, to enact a meaningful positive change upon the world. She's a martyr, a saint, walking among us, just so you know. And she is sacrificing herself one tweet at a time. Um, yeah, you know, respect, word up, word up, appreciate, appreciate you, Anita. Uh, but I don't believe this needs to be an either-or solution. Uh, I realized there had to be a way to balance my health and this project I deeply believe in. That's why I'm making a change to how I complete this project, and I think you will like it. Okay, let's see what it is. But first, just a recap of what we had done already. Uh, <laughs> she, so now she divides it to seasons, where this was not uh, 
this was not declared at the Kickstarter that <laughs> this would be divided to seasons and that season one consisting of eight videos would take two years to make or three I guess 2013, 14, 15 so that's three years I'm not sure that that was uh, I'm pretty sure that was not mentioned to the backers that's a cute a cute way to uh, cover up your mistakes. Uh, Trump's videos, bonus videos, which have nothing to do with Trump's versus women, so they should not be here. Uh, total of 12 videos, total playing time, 3 hours. That's pitiful. That is, that is fucking pitiful. That's uh, 1 hour, mm, 13 minutes per year one hour of video for an entire year when that's supposed to be her job that is beyond pitiful um, and we are currently working on bonus video top 10 common defenses of sexism okay classroom curriculum and lesson plans how about uh, Keep your stop with the bonus videos and finish your non bonus, your mandatory work, what you've been paid to do. How about you finish that and then call every video after you're done a bonus video? How about that? Uh, we plan on completing tropes versus women in video games within a year, okay? But it's going to look a little different instead of incredibly long videos. These are not an hour and a half long videos. It's like 20 minutes. It's not incredibly long, Anita. Right now, off the cuff, I'm doing a video that's going to be more than 20 minutes long. Granted, I put no research into this. And the effort it's taking me is... Uh, the air, the effort that's taking me to exhale air from my lungs, so not a lot. Um, but the difference is not as vast as you think. Instead of incredibly long videos that focus on one trope and deconstruct hundreds of examples, all right, we are going to break it down into smaller bite sized pieces. Uh, we're going to publish shorter, more focused episodes by taking the theories and concepts from the remaining tropes and presenting them in five to ten long, long videos around a very focused topic. So instead of saying we're gonna do, le we're gonna give you less content, this is just um, standard uh, marketing, advertising spins. I come across, and, and when I go to the supermarket, lately companies have been uh, reducing the size of snacks, let's say. So I, I pick up a, uh, a, a bag of snacks, and it says uh, a new size, or uh, a different size, something like that. And the new size is a smaller size for the same price. So instead of saying... Uh, smaller size or less food they're saying different newer more focused episodes uh, bite-sized yeah just shittier shorter episodes that's what you're getting because it's been too long and she's afraid of lawsuits coming her way or something that might really impact her and motivate and and I don't know, and so that's, that's the real motivation for going to finish this. Season 2, 2016, uh, a bunch of stuff, strategic butt covering, lingerie is not armor, that sounds like the same thing. Uh, one size is not for all, not your exotic fantasy. Okay, so be ashamed of uh, liking women and being sexually attracted to women. Gatekeeping cheerleaders, I don't know what this is, women, combatants, fighting and fucking are different, 
True. Escape the fashion runway. Okay. Titles are subject to change. Don't hold, don't hold her to it. I'm just gonna gonna give you a, a pro tip here. Dates for when these are gonna come out are also subject to change. I've been working hard with my team and I'm excited to show you the new format. Without further ado, here's the first episode. I haven't watched this yet. I'm not gonna watch it now. This shit is gonna be insanely long as it is. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, let's look at a couple of the comments. This is still great. You and your collaborators are awesome. Already satisfied with the content you've put out so far. Anything else is gravy. No, it's not. You've been promised a certain amount of videos and you haven't got them. So you, she didn't deliver on what she promised. She broke her promise and it's not just um, uh, I promise to love you forever or anything. It's more like breaking, uh, not fulfilling your side of a contract. She was paid to do X and she did uh, 0.4X or whatever. And what she did took her insanely long, beyond any reasonable excuse. Really appreciate you sharing, Anita. Uh, bravissima, what a fantastic job. Okay, very uh, supportive comments. Um, not really indicative of all this uh, hate and harassment that she keeps complaining about. Thank you for everything you have done. It is simply, it a simply amazing and informative body of work. Okay, this is a fantastic idea. Uh, shorter videos, less content, and more, uh, less time researched. Fantastic idea. I'm a high school digital art teacher who used the TVW video. Ah, oh, just versus women. I'm, I'm fucking stupid. In my game design units. <laughs> units. But I've typically had to make my own five minute edits because they're so repetitive and boring. Okay. I tell everyone that this Kickstarter has paid off more than any other. 10 out of 10 would fund again. Wow, these people have chugged the poison Kool-Aid. Just mm, gallons of it. Each, each and every one of those. I wonder if she is able to uh, moderate these comments. Or are these uh, all... These are all of the comments. Or has she deleted some uh, less favorable ones? I have a framework to help articulate the issue seen in gaming that some of my friends don't quite grasp. Right, they're fucking morons. You are the enlightened one. Uh, great work, Anita. Be well. Indeed, please take care of yourself so we can enjoy your insights for many years to come. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Facebook and the internet don't actually uh, leave the screen. They don't actually uh, come out of the screen and manifest themselves physically in our world to form some kind of knife made out of words that tries to jab at her from the screen. That doesn't happen. So she's, she's going to be fine. Another great video. I think the change form reflects both a better understanding of deadlines and your actual abilities to produce content. That's what he means. I'm, I'm sure that's what he means. I'm both thrilled with all the work you've done and your plans for concluding this project. Yes, we're all thrilled about that. FF could not have come at a better time for our culture. I'm going to try and find a, a comment that's not so favorable. Keep up the good work. No, these are all there. They, there are. Keep going. You're put in an un, unviable position as long as somebody is going. All right. Great titles for season two. Whatever. Okay. Uh, this has been going on for quite too long. Um, I hope she does finish it. Uh, I think it's it's about about it's about damn time. Uh, as the progressives like to say, I mean, pff, it's 2016. So there's your answer for all of of life's questions, really. If you've read Douglas Adams, 
uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, the an he, he got it wrong. The answer is not 42. It's, uh, the answer is its current year. That's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So she should finish the series this year because it's current year. But uh, yeah, no, uh, on a more serious note, all of these excuses she makes here hold no water at all. They are useless. It would be better, much better, if she had taken responsibility and said, I don't know, these are the things that I have spent time on during these years. Not even condemning herself, like, uh, I shouldn't have done that, I should have been working, but just explaining what happened. Um, I'm gonna finish uh, this year. Just don't, don't excuse it. Take responsibility for your actions. You made a promise, you made a contract, you failed to deliver on it, and you are now going to shit out the last remaining videos just to say you're done with it and to try and avoid any lawsuits or legal repercussions coming your way for delaying it this much. Um, yeah, it's fucking disgraceful. People do what she promised to do with, by themselves with no team and no funding, and they do it within months. Definitely within a year, surely. 20 videos within a year? Come on, that's nothing. There are people on YouTube, just, just look them up. Just go on a teal deer video and see just the amount of research this guy does for a video. I don't know how long it takes him. But let's, you know, be generous. A week? For a video, okay. So how about you take two more people, and you'd have, I've already said it a few times, but you take two more people, and you work on it for a month, or, or three weeks, and whatever you come up with, that's the video you put up, and that's it. And, and as you go along, you'd get better, and uh, they would improve the videos. There are 20 of them, so by the, Six, maybe the first two or three would be kind of lame. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think they should be with this amount of time, but maybe. And then by the 11th video, they'd be fucking spot on. Spectacular videos. But she didn't do that. She looked for an ex... She, she hit the gold mine. That, that was the real problem is... Uh, she expected to get some kind of funding and through this series of YouTube videos that was supposed to propel her uh, to a feminist icon, to a celebrity and that already happened with the Kickstarter. So the, the true goal of this project, which in my opinion is to gain uh, recognition, gain uh, uh, fandom or I guess a celebrity status, uh, gain an audience, make a name for herself, the, the goal was already accomplished at the beginning. And so w once you already get the goal and, and you get a lot of money, by the way, there is no motivation for you to finish the project you promised to do. There is no motivation, hence it takes you four years too long. To do it. And that's it. So the the whole project was unneeded. It was kind of useless. It was a a, a pain in the butt. And this is the result. This is what happens. So don't believe all the hype. There is no excuse for this. Uh, of course, any place of work would have fired her within a few months of, uh, of being late, but uh, since people just donate money so she can do whatever she wants, she feels no obligation or responsibility to meet the deadlines to 
uphold the promises she made to her backers. And um, that is unfortunate. But as we saw in the comments, these people seem pleased with whatever it is. She could have made three videos and they say, I, I already feel like I've got my money's worth. Uh, just, just take the extra hundred grand and buy, uh, buy some cocaine with it. Go have, uh, go have some a good time, you crazy kids. Smoke your, smoke your cocaine and uh, snort your cannabis. Okay, yeah, it's it's too late at night for me to record this. Um, have a great, fantastic, goddamn day. And um, may, may the Buddha, the feminist Buddha, Sarkeesian Anita, guide you along your righteous path. That is, unless you're a man, of course, and then fuck you. Get the fuck out. So this is a man from the internet, a uh, piece the fuck in. You see, I, st I stole that guy's uh, catchphrase. Anyway, see ya. And uh, don't, don't fund feminists on Kickstarter. What the fuck is wrong with you?